That's a whole lot of red. Jake Gyllenhaal has sent Taylor Swift's fans into a frenzy with his new red-themed photo shoot for W Magazine. Yeah, it was, uh, it was a great photo shoot. Reportedly, Jake and Taylor dated for three months in 2010, and it's speculated that he's the subject of much of Taylor's 2012 album, Red, which had its resurgence in 2021 when she re-recorded it. In the video for one of her hit songs off the album, 22, Taylor is seen rocking red heart sunglasses, similar to the ones Jake is seen wearing in his photo shoot. Did, Did you see it? it? Although Jake doesn't mention Taylor in his interview for the magazine, fans couldn't help but point out more similarities between the actor Spread and his pop star ex. Here are some of the best reactions. One fan tweeted a shot from the photo shoot and captioned it, quote, Jake Gyllenhaal vacuuming Taylor Swift's scarf. Another fan tweeted, quote, Jake Gyllenhaal is really in his red era, huh? What's going on here? And I think this tweet from a fan sums it up. Next to a collage of Jake's photo shoot, they wrote, quote, everyone stay calm. Stay calm. These are things that make me break out in a full body sweat. This past November, Taylor celebrated the re-release of her Red album. I bet you think about me. Red is the second album Swift has re-recorded following the release of Fearless, Taylor's version, in April. The night of Red's re-release, the 31-year-old appeared on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon and opened up about her excitement over the never-before-heard tracks that didn't make it onto her original release of Red and were featured on Red, Taylor's version. In the process, I've, I've dug up these songs that I wrote along the way that didn't make the album because I, I thought, I, I want to save this for the next album. Um, but then I, the next album would just be a completely different thing. So yeah. I'd be like, well, what's going to happen to that? Um, and, and it turns out this, it's an opportunity for me to go back and re-record all the music that was on the original album and then what I'm really excited about is these songs that no one's ever heard before that, that were supposed to be on that album. 